Hi, my name is Lauren, um, and I work at a boys and girls club, so most of my stories start with my kids. This story and this day are no exception. That day started like any other day, and it was coming up on one o'clock, and the kids' behavior was increasingly more challenging with every passing minute. <laughs> I was feeling exhausted and a little hopeless. We had been working with these kids all day, every day, for the past eight weeks, and it was starting to feel like nothing we've done or the relationships that we've built were producing any fruit. We had just put Jeremiah in timeout for the third time that day, and we had taken away his opportunity to go to tennis club, which was something he'd been looking forward to all day long. We gave away his spot to another student, and we overheard the instructor asking that child if he had any gym shoes, knowing that his slides were gonna pose a safety hazard in the middle of tennis. So when Jeremiah overheard this conversation, knowing he wasn't going to be allowed to go to tennis, he spoke up. He slipped off his tennis shoes and handed them over to another fourth grade boy, gifting him the opportunity to be a part of this special club. And that made me feel like maybe even through the mess and the chaos of every day, just maybe these kids were getting it. Maybe they were hearing us. Maybe there was hope for growth and change. Hope for kindness still.